Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum and welcome back to another video, folks. Today I am back again here in Ark. And uh, obviously, uh, since I just started out, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. So, as I said in my previous videos, that location was just a temporary location. So I'm looking now for a new base location. Ideally, I would like something that looks nice. And potentially with a bit of flat ground. Uh, I'm not really sure as of yet what I'm going to be building with. Whether it's S plus structures or with the castles, keeps and forts mod. Okay, we have an alpha there. I can see that by the glow. Let's just quickly be nosy. Alright, ooh, okay. So not that bad, level 20. I mean, it's bad because it's going to hurt. <laughs> I have nothing to defend myself against it. Uh, that's something I'll have to consider. Uh, obviously, this area here is a bit freezing compared to uh, where I'm living. And so my health is dropping, but I should have enough health to be able to outlast the night. But that's problematic because, of course, um, <laughs> with time, I'll be doing more dangerous stuff. So I'll need to sort that out. So that's fine. But first things first, look in here. I, I like this area. To be fairly honest, there's water right there. It, it is generally flat, but obviously, also, we've got loads of bad things as well. So I like this plateau here. Okay, the castle's right there. And uh, I did build in it last time I was here, so I don't know if I want to go for it or not. Uh, but let me see what this plateau looks like. Alright, um, I'm starting to remember. We've got a little bridge there. I think there's like three entrances into the castle. Or beyond the castle walls. But I'm having a look at what we've got around. Uh, so basically I'm scouting now because I will be moving here. Uh, in this area. Or I'll be leaving that base. I don't know necessarily if this is going to be the place I'm going to move to. But uh, yeah. So this is where I built last time. I didn't actually fully complete the build, which kind of sucks. I would have liked to have seen that through, but I do have this. So right there we have a Carnotaurus. Okay, it's not that bad. We have a Raptor as well. Oh, another Raptor there, a Scorpion. Eh, it's not that bad. The the space I have to work with is decent. So the, there is a good possibility that I could probably work with this. Let's have a look over here. I know there's griffins that spawn around here. We have some resources as well. We've got these guys. So at the moment, uh, what I'm doing, what I've been doing is fighting the tech creatures. Simply because it's a good source of oil as well as electronics. So for me, it is absolutely worth it. Um, I'm not using the electronics for much right now. I'm trying to preserve as much as I can. But eventually, I will need electronics for the base that I'm going to build in the location. I have not yet decided. Okay, what's that? All right, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> the Nanakis. Okay. Uh, can I fight you? Oh, yeah, I forgot you do bleed. Okay, so every time the dot ticks, we get a damage which causes the creature to make it damage sound. That's fine. Good to remember that. Now that in front of me looks nice. We've got water relatively close. I do want to know if I can siphon with uh, water pipes water into the base from the waterfall. I don't see why that would be a problem. Uh, it would be very interesting to build here. Uh, so the castle's up there. This right here, though, this plateau is actually quite large. And very flat as well. So I like that, too. Just gonna land on the ground here, just to uh, have a look, see how flat it actually is. Yeah, it's not that bad. Definitely something I can work with. And there's a lot of space. I mean, I don't think I'm going to build anything that big. Uh, but you never know. Okay, we've got an Ankylosaurus. We've got some stuff there. Uh, okay, that's good. 
<laughs> it's funny because when I was looking for Ankylosaurus sources on the island I was on, I couldn't find any. But over here, we seem to have some Ankies. And I think somewhere around here, generally speaking, if my memory is correct, we tend to have griffins, which is going to be necessary. I am not going to lie. I definitely want a griffin. Oh, hello. What we got? What we got? What we got? Let me just uh, position here so I can see what we're doing. Um, I'd like to try and tame a griffin in this video. I think that's the other thing I'd like to do. It will come in handy for when I go to get um, wyvern eggs. It is faster than a wyvern, so that is important. <laughs> Although they don't have a lot of health, so it'll be quite hard when we upset all the wyverns. <laughs> okay, so before I decide to actually move, which is going to happen hopefully in this video, um, I want a Therizinosaurus. I've had a look around for Therys. This is one that has appealed to me. Uh, it's not maximum level, but it should do for now. So... I'm going with my usual T-Rex trap. Okay, can you get up here, buddy? Come on. Yes, you can get up here. Uh, they do hurt quite a bit. <laughs> there you go. You're going to be my friend. I'm going to stick some berries up your cloaca, and then I will befriend you. First things first, though, I need to knock you out. Okay. As always, I like to make sure that he can't get out. Because if this thing gets to me, it's going to hurt really bad. And let's go for a headshot. Okay, that did not count. Let's try again. Oh. Really? That counted. Oh, stop moving. Ah, it's doing damage. Oh, bird, stop. <laughs> stop. Come back here. Okay, can land. Let land you right here, and you stay there. I did not realize it could do damage to stone structures. I mean, it's not a lot. It's gonna take forever to destroy anything at this rate. But uh, yeah, that's that's new on me. <laughs> or maybe I didn't know about it. I feel like part of me knew about it. Just simply forgot because it's been that long since I've tamed the Therizinosaurus, but these things are scary. I am not going to lie, especially when I'm starting out and I have next to nothing to work with. So, every resource that I've got is, for me at least, highly valuable at this point. Okay, I've decided to swap to the Trank Rifle. Uh, just uh, save really on getting it next to, to death. Uh, to be honest, because the arrows do more damage. So I don't really want it with too low health. Hopefully nothing decides to attack or sort of creep up on me. But I do need to build a campfire because I am cold. And as you can see, it has done a number on my health. So I'm going to need quite a bit of wood here just to start it going. And I guess... What I'm going to do is, I am going to use the starving method. I'm going to starve it out, wait it out. And uh, whilst I do that, you can already hear my heartbeat. <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, yeah. Well, whilst I wait here to warm up, I think I'll use this one as well. There we go. Get a couple more stones in this. Uh, apparently, that's what we needed. Um, yeah, well, I'll wait for, for the warmth to help me heal. I am going to wait for it to starve out, and hopefully nothing bad happens. I'd like this to be a nice and clean tame. I'll do the S plus campfire. Generally speaking, I like to clean up after myself, uh, especially when it comes to stuff like this. I don't like to scatter them about on the map. You know, just being environmentally friendly. <laughs> There we go, that feels so much better. Okay. So, there's an alpha raptor that I've been keeping an eye on. He's kind of spawned in here, and I do not want him next to my tame. That's it. Off you go. He's fine, he's gone. 
so far so good it's been a clear smooth sailing of course I am taming this Therizinosaurus with uh, major berries sadly don't have any kibbles to use and uh, I probably wouldn't waste any kibbles on something like this okay uh, we'll wait it out a bit longer I do have some narcotics to give it if I need it uh, might as well place these in your butthole there you go okay, that's how I make friends I stick people stings and stuff <laughs> Okay, what else have I got here? So I'm looking at the items that I've picked up and I'm putting them back into my bird. I don't want to leave anything around. Uh, it is close to taming. It's taken a while, but uh, what's nice is I'm still getting a good taming effectiveness on it. So obviously I do have the taming rate turned up fairly high. I mean, there's still work to do for it. It's not free. But I forgot how nice the game can look I mean it's been a while since I've been on it but it does still look pretty can only imagine what this would look in um, Unreal Engine 5 I think this could look so much better like part of me does want to play the Ark Survival Ascended game but I heard that uh, initially they are going to release all the DLCs. Then they backed on that and said they're going to release just uh, the island and Scorched Earth. Now it's just the island because they're having apparently problems with Unreal 5. So I don't know. It's uh, Now I have nothing with Studio Wildcard. It's um, their publisher I have an issue with. Which kind of makes me not want to buy it first time around. I kind of... I think the, the the proper leech in that relationship is their publisher. I'm not a fan of them for what they're up to. But uh, that's my personal choice. All right, we'll grab you. Uh, as you can see, I've stuffed loads of berries in them. <laughs> yeah. It's something I don't need at the moment, so might as well not put them to waste. And just in case something did go wrong and it took a bit longer than I expected. Um, to be fairly honest... I am still getting used to the settings that I've got. So, you know, I'm still trying to remember stuff. But we have got our Therizinosaurus, uh, which means I will pick up my Ankylosaurus and all my goodies and start moving base. Um, in the end, I have decided for a location. You guys will see where it is. So we're coming up on our new home. Yes, I know I said I didn't want to do the castle again, but something about it I find really appealing. It has a bit of everything around it. It's honestly I think it's prime real estate, if you ask me. We've got a waterfall here, so water right close to us. We've got that plateau right there, which is really cool. We've got the water down there, which, I don't know, I could probably turn that into a water base if that is the case. I don't remember what creatures there are here in this uh, DLC, so that's another thing. But if I do need, like, a water base, I could do that. I mean, still, it looks deep enough to hold stuff. Although, occasionally, things might fall on top of my tames there. I mean, even that plateau in front of me still looks pretty decent. I mean, it's definitely a close contender. That just allows me the freedom to, to build anything was that. Actually, I have to work within the confines of what is already there. And obviously, I cannot modify it. So, yeah. Hmm. Still a very close call. I mean, it can go both ways. Because they're both really in good places. Close to things creatures and resources that I'm interested in uh, but I think in the end the castle is going to win and so with that said I'm probably going to use the castle's keeps and forts building materials there's a rex there uh, and try and build a proper castle I guess and on the bright side we do have a good defense here we have actual walls that cannot be damaged so they're impervious to damage which is good it's good 
All right, these guys are still here. <laughs> what a surprise. I think it's time to start clearing out some stuff and uh, start making a start on the base. That really made sense because, hey, hey, English. Oh, look. Look, they want to be friends already. <laughs> or maybe they're like, no, this is our territory. Go away. Pesky human. All right. <laughs> Okay, here we are. This is what I've got so far. It's not much, but it's a start. And actually, I like the space in here. It's very spacious. Meaning I can do stuff and build stuff and modify things. And these gates are really annoying. They are extra annoying. I uh, still have to cover these holes up, but I will do that eventually. But this is what it looks like. Uh, I, I do realize I need to make it more like a castle. Or look like a castle. And I will get on with that eventually. But we have plenty of windows. We have plenty of height to have decently sized creatures in there. Yeah, so I'm happy. It's, don't get me wrong. It's taken me a long while to get to that point. So, yeah. Well, when you work hard to build something, you learn to appreciate it. <laughs> it looks pretty no matter how ugly it is. Uh, okay. Let's have a look around here. And, um... suppose one of the things I could do is build a trap on top of the castle, but I probably will use, um, yeah. Do you know what I'd like to do, actually? One thing that I am missing is a dung beetle. So I'd like to go and try and find some dung beetles. I think that is the next thing. Uh, I might look at building a trap on top of the castle eventually, but that's for another time. Uh, for another time is what I'm going to say. Okay, so this is the only dung beetle I could find so far. And it's right next to the wyvern pit. So, I've got some poop on me. I do wonder though... Oh, Seth has pooped. <laughs> oh, Seth, I mean... Um, Big Bird. So I want to grab that poop and stuff it up this dung beetle. Make it my friend. A dung beetle is a good start. I can then start using that to make some oil. Right, I'm just having a look around here. It's right next to the poop that I want to pick up. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's bad. <laughs> oh, no. Where did that guy come from? He aggroed from such a distance. Oh, I cannot outrun this stuff. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Uh, I want to ditch it. How do I ditch it? Oh, this is going to kill me. Oh, no, 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 no. This is so bad. Oh, boy. I lost. I'm, I'm going to lose my bird. Okay, I'm trying to get it. Oh, no. I'm definitely going to lose my bird. I'm going to lose all my stuff as well. Well, out. That's frustrating. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I knew I was done for. I've lost my bird as well. I'm sure of it. Um, I'm in a lot of trouble right now. <laughs> I've lost my clothes. I've lost everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just trying to gather my thoughts here. That is definitely a dangerous area to be in. Uh... I'm going to have to spawn back and try and figure out what, what my next move is going to be. But uh, right now, it's not looking too good. I need a new Argentavis. And, um... I need clothes, I need weapons, I need the whole lot. Okay, I managed to recover that stuff that I lost. Um, I had to lead the Wyvern out. Luckily, I've used the Argent, which is kind of what I was planning for. The, the, it's a, it was like the wyvern was camping my body. But what I have done is I've built a trap on top of my base. It's a very temporary stuff. Uh, I will demolish it eventually because I do want to keep the same stuff. But it's uh, making use of what I had with me. And there we go. Yeah, that's the one. Found a 150. It was actually too far from my base, which is nice. We do have loads of Argent around here. So I had... Well... I was hoping for a high level one, let's put it this way, and I found one. 
say that, I don't even know what gender it is, but uh, it doesn't really matter right now. It's an Argent, and uh, the thing is, my Argent, the one that I just lost, Big Bird, uh, well, I put a lot of points into weights, so uh, I'll have to level this one up again, but that's fine. There's my trap right there. It's not pretty, but it's effective, and uh, that's what matters right now. But yeah, I'm getting a new Argent, and uh, <laughs> like when I lost everything, I felt like just logging off, like quitting, uh, but I didn't. Uh, I pushed on. Let's do this. It's a good thing I have resources, but that also brought up a thing that I need to take into consideration. I do have the teleporter mod, so I need to set up a teleporter between this location and my original base, uh, my starter base, so to speak. I've got some stuff with me. I've got some poop as well, which I need to collect. I do need a dung beetle eventually, but right now I need an argent more than I need a dung beetle. <laughs> Sadly, this guy does not carry much. So I'm going to need to go and swap stuff out and get some weapons and start knocking out this argent. Come on. These auto opening doors can be quite annoying. Okay. So... Um, here we are with our beautiful new friend. Time to knock it out. It was <laughs> just doing its own thing. <laughs> yeah. I forgot things like that can happen in Ark. <laughs> I can't believe I lost that Argent. I kind of got quite attached to it. That was my first actual flyer. Not even counting the Pteranodon. Pteranodons are... I suppose they're... Uh, they get you from point A to point B just about but an Argent is definitely way better and I think I'm gonna get eventually a um, a griffin if that has shown me anything it's basically that I'm not prepared for that zone so I'll take that lesson on board and I think the other thing I need to consideration is right now I have to use a flyer to get up to the top. So I think I might need to create a flight of steps to do that. Uh, but that's fine. We can change and update the base as and when we see fit. So it is open. That's why I kind of just made it as simple as possible. Um, and then with time, it'll look a lot better. Let me just see the torpor on this. Okay, that's fine. It's not that bad. There we go. I suppose it's a good thing that I did some farming beforehand where... I have resources in my previous base. And, um, so I could build stuff there. I have some stuff that I brought with me. It's just not a lot of stuff. It's what the Argent could carry, really. Let's see. You're, you're running away, so that's fine. I can be in here now. I'm brave enough. There we go. Sort that Gamma out for a second. Okay, sweet. It is down. I did manage to bring with me some cooked prime meat. So, I'm going to have to swap out again. I was going to go for the cooked prime meat, but I saw this. So, whilst our Argent is busy sleeping, might as well take this one out. And use the prime meat for the best attainment effectiveness. Say hello. Yep, there we go. Headshot. Okay, please don't hit me. I'm really wary of that. Yep. Okay, that's not what. <laughs> that's what I was wary about. Um, I'm gonna have to peck you to death. Sadly. And yeah, this is like watching paint dry because we don't do much damage with this. Uh, I do have some stamina on this bird, but it uh, ain't gonna be great though. <laughs> this will take some time. 
Good one. Now, my concern is there are two scorpions right there. I'd like to try and get rid of them because they will basically attack the Bronto after it's dead and harvest its body. But I want as much prime meat off of it as I can for the tame. And come on, come on, come on. Don't go in the water. Oh, so close. Maybe that is my escape right there. I just need to be smart enough not to actually dismount myself. Uh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> Alright, let's get up there. Let's get up there. Get back to safety. There we go. Look at this. This is home sweet home. And we're gonna... Uh, these doors are annoying. I have set them to manual because they were annoying me really badly. <laughs> have we got here? Uh, oh, right, hold on. I forgot the detail there. Okay, let's take all this. And we'll cook it. It shouldn't take too long and then we feed it to the bird. I mean... Yeah, timer's not that bad, but still, I'm not chanting it. Gonna get some more prime meat from this dude right here. There's actually quite a bit to be had if I can survive this. I am fighting an Argent and a Rex, so I should get a decent amount. And the reason I picked this one is because they both be damaged from each other, which is fair enough. It's uh, collateral damage that will work in my favor. Hopefully. <laughs> this is wishful thinking. Try and stay on this Rex's tail. I don't think I harvested anything off of that. So... It's going to have to be the Rex. And as always, where there's Rexes and Argent, you'll also get a silly scorpion, I think. I can hear him. I, I've seen him. I feel like I've seen him. I know he's around here. Yep, I just caught a glimpse of his tail. Let me just land here, get my breath. Yeah, we're hurt. <laughs> I think I can do this, though. Oh, wrong, wrong gun. <laughs> okay. Can, can you get me up here? Let's do some damage with the gun on it. I don't want to lose another bird right now. This could be really bad if I... If I'm flightless, it's going to be really bad for me. I just feel like something's hitting my bird. <laughs> I can hear some sounds that I'm not sure about. Okay, the Rex is down. Only level 25. Let's quickly get it before the scorpions do. Okay, I got eight prime meat that should be good and I feel like I should use the actual raw prime meat to increase my taming effectiveness okay let's do this I'll take the prime meat off your first start Okay, you haven't lost too much torpor. That's quite nice. Let's see what happens. Yeah, prime meat was a good choice. I mean, the raw stuff. Uh, okay, you didn't use it all up. That's good. Let's grab you. Uh, take these. I can cook them and use them for stuff later. And take you. And let's go down here. And I think I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> I have learned something today. And that is that I'm not prepared for the volcano island where the wyverns are. Not yet. Uh, I was uh, thinking I was prepared, but I'm not. So sadly, we'll have to do a bit more work, but I will be looking forward to it. I will be thinking about how to get a wyvern egg soon. 
Um, that is one thing I'm determined for. All right, land yourself. Oi. I do have something for you here, though. Nope, not near. Uh, I put it somewhere. <laughs> okay, grab some of the stuff. While well, I'm here, um... Uh, it's tempting to swap out picks, but it's fine. I can repair this pick as well, so I'll do that. I've got a saddle for you somewhere. There you go. There's your saddle. Enjoy. Well, I should enjoy. <laughs> okay. Um, apart from moving base and getting a Therizinosaurus, I guess, uh, we got a new bird as well because we had no choice. Um... I'm glad I decided to keep the Pteranodon, because initially when I left base, I don't know if I'm going to put that in the recording, uh, I was thinking of leaving the Pteranodon back there, because it's not really kind of, I mean, uh, it wasn't a high level, let's put it this way. Uh, right now, I'm glad I took it with me, because, yeah, it would have been a lot of trouble for me. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them in the so-called uh, cryopod, the mod that I'm using, and they do seem to get decent XP there. And uh, with that said, um, the Argent can gain some levels whilst I am away from the game. And then when I'll be back, I'll pop it out and use the levels for, um, I'm going to say, stamina, carry weight, and a bit of health, maybe some damage. I'll see how I spread them out. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode. Folks, thank you all so very much for choosing to click on this video and choosing to spend your time with me. I really do appreciate it. And of course, as always, until next time, stay safe, folks.